Hello, my name is Ernestine Trujillo. I'm the Senior Clinical Nutritionist here at UNM Comprehensive Cancer Center, and I'm here to help you through your cancer journey. If you're suffering from side effects from treatment such as weight loss, poor appetite, nausea, vomiting, constipation, or diarrhea, I'm here to help you. You can make an appointment to see me with any of our schedulers. You do not need orders from your doctor to do so. Just ask them for an appointment with the dietitian. Nausea and vomiting are a common side effect of some cancer treatments. It's important for you to inform your doctor if you're suffering from nausea or vomiting because they have medications that can help you. With your diet, you can make some changes to help as well. Small frequent meals is important because we don't want to overload your system. So it's important to try to eat something every two to three hours. Bland foods will be easier to tolerate than spicy foods most likely. Try dry foods to try to settle your stomach, such as toast or crackers, and then you might be able to eat something later on a little bit more comfortably. Cool foods may be better tolerated. Part of that is that your nose may become more sensitive during treatment, and if you have to smell the food, once you heat it up, it smells even stronger. So a cool food may be easier for you to tolerate because you're not smelling it so strongly. Another tip that can help you if you've got nausea and vomiting is to cover the food between bites. So if you've got a lid to a pan or a pot, consider covering your meal in between each bite. That way you don't have to oversensitize your nose by smelling the aroma for too long. Encourage your family and friends to help you with meal preparation. Sometimes the food smells too strongly while you're cooking it and by the time it's ready, you don't wanna eat it anymore. So if friends and family can help you out, you may have a better chance at eating more of the food yourself. Try large batch cooking. If you tend to have good days in between chemotherapy treatments, make food when you feel well. Set aside small portions that you can freeze for later use if you have the freezer space. Drink enough fluids between meals and snacks. Now it's okay to sip a little bit of fluid to help get the food down, but try not to guzzle liquids with your food. If you drink too much liquid with the food, the sloshing effect in your belly may increase the nausea and vomiting. So a good idea is to keep fluids at mealtime to about a half cup, and then about a half hour after the meal, go ahead and drink fluids as usual. Mint and ginger can be two common things to help you settle nausea and vomiting. Mint tea, mint gum, or for some people, even just smelling some mint can help settle their stomach. Ginger is useful as long as you're not taking the anti-emetic called Emend. Ginger can help reduce nausea. Candy ginger can be an easy way to get some useful ginger into your system. It's delicious and convenient to consume. Ginger tea is another option, ginger snaps, and even ginger beer. Ginger ale may not have enough actual ginger to settle your stomach, but for some people, the bubbles in the ginger ale can be helpful. Thank you for tuning in to my nutrition videos. If you have further questions, feel free to ask your doctor or scheduler to make an appointment with me.